Even if you're a city dweller, the concept of sowing and reaping should not be a foreign one to you. The scriptures are filled with truths about sowing and reaping. In fact, the Apostle Paul reminds us that we reap what we sow. Last week I began a new devotional series entitled Breaking Up Your Fallow Ground. Fallow ground is soil that had been left unplowed for a season in order that it might become more fertile. However, during that time, the, the ground becomes hard and dry and overrun with weeds. In order that it should be, become productive again, it had to be cleared of weeds and cultivated. The passage of scripture that we looked at was from Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness on you. In the prophet Hosea's day, as well as in ours, people with hardened hearts sow seeds of discontent and strife. Hosea's admonition to us is to sow seeds of righteousness so that we might reap mercy. Did you know that your words and actions are like seeds that you sow into the hearts and lives of others? Those seeds produce fruit in our lives and in the lives of others. But just what kind of fruit do they produce? If we sow bad seeds, such as anger, resentment, bitterness, fear, etc., we will experience the repercussions of having sown these bad seeds. We will reap a bitter harvest. But when we sow seeds of righteousness, such as love, joy, peace, harmony, we will experience a harvest of righteousness. James 3.18 says, Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. In scripture, God introduces the word picture of sowing and reaping to describe our relationship with him. Every day, you and I are sowing seeds that will one day sprout and produce a harvest. So there is going to be a season of reaping. For some, that harvest is going to be incredibly joyous, but for others, the fruit is going to be a harvest of bitterness. This kind of seed we sow determines the kind of harvest we will reap. The prophet Hosea says, if you sow to the wind, you will reap a whirlwind. In other words, there's a kind of multiplication factor that takes place when we sow. For example, the farmer sows one grain of corn, but that one grain of corn produces many ears of corn. In the same way, if you sow seeds of righteousness today, the harvest will be multiplied tomorrow. As you can see, the process of sowing is not always a pleasant one. It takes work to break up the rocky soil and produce soil that is fruit-bearing. That's why the psalmist says in Psalm 126, verse 5, Those who sow with tears shall reap with songs of joy. You see, the joy of the harvest will far outweigh the toil of sowing as the Holy Spirit produces the fruit of His Spirit in your life. Amen. Thank you.